Hello, I'm Dr. Igor Simonov, and today I will continue to talk about the Wusin pulse diagnosis and the pulse indication for use of back shoe and the front move points according to 67th difficulty of nine zin. Here we have the two pulse map which we used uh, before and uh, regardless of the symptoms of the patient we just will see um, what the Nanjin, Nanjin explain about how we need to use uh, shoe, back shoe points and front more points. <clears throat> so here we have, I will remind you, here we have the lung meridian heart meridian, spleen, a pancreas, liver, kidney meridians. And here we have the large intestine, small intestine, stomach, gallbladder, san jiao, a triple warmer, and the urinary bladder meridian. So in 67th difficulty of Nanjing, uh, we can read that Yin diseases move to the yang, so we need to use yang area, our back shoe points. And when the yang disease moves towards the yin, we need to use front mu points. So what happens? <clears throat> Here we have, for example, uh, example of the uh, heart meridian. We see it is heart meridian, which is the uh, zan organ, uh, zan meridian, uh, which is in deficiency. What mean in deficiency? It means that actually here is the yin, and here we have the yang. So in this case, we have the yin deficiency in heart meridian and it's produced by the yang excess. So yin moves towards the yang, yin area and the yang area. So according to Nanjing, pulse becomes more yang, becomes more superficial. Movement, it moves are which correct to say it take the movement from the fire movement towards the metal movement from more yin to more yang so we need to use according to nanzin puncturing doing acupuncture in back shoe points in two cases and we need to add moxibustion of the mu point of the heart. So we we need to move the doing the uh, dispersion or uh, puncturing of the shoe point and doing moxibustion of the heart mu point. We move this towards the line where it should be. Here we have, for example, spleen a pancreas meridian, which is in excess. What does it mean? It become more yin. So the it from the more yang area it moves towards the more yin area due to deficiency of the yang and excess of the yin. So what we need to do in this case, we need actually uh, use the acupuncture of the mu point of the spleen and do the moxibustion of the uh, back shoe point of the spleen and pancreas, moving it backwards. So here is the liver, we have not any excess uh, deficiency. <coughs> In this 
uh, pulse map we can see for example large intestine is in deficiency for full meridians this area is the yang so all excess of yang become to fulfilling these meridians become full excess of yin make deficiency of yang and these meridians become more yin more empty so in this case we have the disease moving from yang towards the yin so what we need to use in this case again this movement from the mu yang movement from the metal towards mu yin movement towards the earth pulse becomes more deeper so we need to use the mu uh, front mu point for acupuncture and the back shoe point for moxibustion here in two pulse maps we have for, for example stomach in excess again here's the yang this pulse the disease becomes from more yin becomes more yang from deeper poles it becomes more superficial movement why we say it moves movement from the earth becomes metal so what we need to do it moves towards the yang we need to use puncture put the needle in the back shoe points in both cases and use the front move point of the stomach yin point yin area for the moxibustion moving it backwards and here we have the urinary bladder meridian which is in excess again it becomes from more yin more deep poles become more superficial more yang so we use again back shoe point for dispersion puncturing back shoe point and the using moxibustia in the heating in the front move point of the uh, urinary blood so 67 difficulty uh, according to the polls explain very exactly how we need our strategy about the use of the back shoe and the front move points according to the five movements a movement of the yin towards the yang a yang towards the yin Thank you.